Yo, what's up? It's Telly from Paleface Swiss and welcome to the Plan B RV. Hi, I'm Yannick from Paleface Swiss. I play guitar and we are on our first official US tour. That's true. And like I said, I'm, I'm, I'm Telly, I'm the vocalist. And like he said, it's our first ever US tour and we're currently in Chicago. And we're on tour with Body's Natural, Angel Maker and Distant, which is amazing. I mean, the tour is absolutely incredible so far. The people are absolutely Crazy. wild it is what for real it is my <laughs> for real we like we got told a lot of a lot of stuff like how to prepare and everything but we haven't expect like to be that this crazy basically so it, it, it's it really is cool we're really thankful to be here it is tough because no days off on this tour we all feel kind of ugh, ugh. but it's only like uh, a few shows left and I, I guess six or seven shows left about eight eight oh, to eight? ten okay yeah Still, um, it's so much fun. It's rough, but so much fun. It's worth yeah, it. Definitely. Everything went well, except for uh, the whole travel. Like, planes got cancelled and everything. But I'm pretty sure every band needs to yeah. experience something like that. And then we, we finally landed in uh, Orlando. We wanted to pick up the original RV. And they told us, like, while we're standing in front of them, oh, we cannot have the RV anymore. Because, I don't know. There were some reasons. Yeah, so we're like, Bro, the tour starts tomorrow <laughs> and we have no vehicle basically. So, like last minute we found a very, very cute family online. They they rented us this little baby. We call it the Mini Mini. It's also like written outside. It's a cool name. So it's it's way smaller than we like originally had planned the RV to be, but it works. It works. It's, it's last perfect. minute solution. That's why it's called Plan B RV, I guess. Yes. Yeah. Welcome to the driver's area basically. So and um, we all take turns basically like all of the band members take turns and our FOH our sound guy He's like the how's it called the backup driver basically normally. It's just us four So we both Lehman and I we both did the first half of the tour the, the night driving for the first half of the tour and then we, we kept sleeping like we, we drove half of the way at night and the bass player and the drummer um, woke up early in the morning and drove the rest of the The, 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 way, the way whatever yeah. and we kept sleeping up there so yeah, but now we switched it because it's time for us to have fun at night and have a few more beers than usual, I guess. But <laughs> I mean, I love I love those night drives because there's no traffic. But the the only reason why we changed it because was like we have never been to this country before, and to be honest, at night you you won't see anything of the country. So we were like, let, let's drive uh, during the day a, a little bit at least, so we can like see something from the countryside, the buildings, whatever. So yeah, but I'd say, like I'm the city driver and I'm the sketchy weather driver, like when there's bad weather conditions, when we're in the city, I always have to drive because, I don't know, I used to be a semi-truck yeah, driver, so I, I, I'm kind of used to like bigger vehicles in like narrow streets or whatever, so yeah, the boys trust me and I'm thankful for that. <laughs> so uh, we always listen to music uh, and talk with each other and well, uh, as Sally told, when we drove in the night, uh, we always like had those little. How's it called? How's it called? Our five minutes. Yeah. Where the we five like scream at each other just to keep us awake. Basically. Yeah. <clears throat> but um, basically, yeah, just music, uh, little talks or or silence, whatever. So uh, there's also the rule: the driver picks the music. Oh obviously. yeah. So yeah. when you drive, it's mostly. I don't know yeah, what is it. But well, we mostly uh, uh, talk with each other. That's true. And uh, yeah, we, we choose the music together. Well, well let them know. When, when you're driving, what is the, your pick? Uh, like, it's always metal, heavy metal, thrash metal, death metal, something about this. The metal boy. The metal boy. For me, it's more like, also metal, but more like, I listen to a lot of, especially when I'm alone in front of you, like when I when it's early in the morning and all the boys are sleeping, I have my little dubstep and drum and bass party. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I love top seven and also like rap music and stuff but but yeah all genres are welcomed here obviously so yeah. very open-minded but we, we talk a lot we oh actually yeah do. yeah we talk a lot so it's uh yeah. it, it, we, we love it yeah we always talk about the shows the people we met uh, yeah and as well stupid things like I already said we both we sleep up here it's the actually the only bad with the curtain <laughs> So we, we sleep up here. It is actually way more comfortable than it looks. And it, it stays warm up there. It, it's pretty comfortable, isn't it? I mean... I love it. Yeah, I will never miss that spot again. And it, like, 
up here, like when you close the curtain, it keeps all like all the loud noises out from the bed. So we have oh, we have actually we have a small television in, back there. Well, we, where we always watch Formula One. Um, my little piglet, my little pink. How's it called? Sleeping mask? I don't know. Yeah. And your stuff back there. A lot of water. Yeah, that's it. It's very comfortable up here. Those are our cabinets. And I think those are the cabinets that are the, the most organized most ones. Yeah, so there we are. This is our little hangout area when we are not driving. And it's also the bed from our uh, merch guy, Ron. Oh yeah, this one turns into a bed, obviously. Yeah. It, it's more like the, the, the working station, I guess, like from like the, the TM and Ron like, does all the laptop stuff back here. And I'm actually, to be honest, I, I'm very proud for everyone who don't have them. <laughs> Get yourself like those, I don't know, how they call packing cubes, packing bags, I don't know, for, for t-shirts and, and underwear and everything. It, it makes everything, it makes touring so much easier, believe yeah. me. It's a really good thing Very to have. organized. Yes. Also we have, as you can see, we are uh, slippers, sandals, whatever band. We are the slipper band. The slipper band, everyone has its own slippers or sandals or whatever you call them. Um, yeah, this one turns into Ron's bed. Apparently, our sound guy he, he, he. Sound guy and TM. And TM. Manager. He sleeps on the floor. <laughs> 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 like, we obviously, like, we have a mattress that we can, like, roll and put it into the shower during the day. But he has that ability, like, he can sleep everywhere. Anytime, everywhere. So he was like, I'm fine. Because, yeah, the other RV had a bit more. But we had to improvise. Yeah, but uh, I think they could fit here, but, yeah. Uh, uh, I think it will be uncomfortable. Yeah, definitely. For those two. So that's the kitchen basically. Um, it's probably the hardest part to uh, keep organized, but we're trying our best. Um, up here it's just tea, whatever, stuff to clean. Up there is also like tissues and stuff. Oh, and all the gifts we, we, we get from like uh, shirts. This is actually pretty cool. We obviously love gifts. It's like a painting someone draw. It's like all of the bands, Pale Face this and Angel Maker Body Snatcher. And, and a, a cool dude like ri ripped out like Bible pages and, and did like for all of the songs we have from a new record he did one page for all of the songs which is very cool and some wood because you're a, a, comp a carpenter or what is it? Uh, yeah, carpet, carpenter. So it's yes. basically for him. Yeah. So <laughs> yes, the so gifts up there, water and drinks down there, a uh, little bit of alcohol, a lot of water most of the time. The oven is the cable, cable storage, because we don't really use it. We use the microwave a lot, actually. That's our, how do you call it, a travel? Travel, like to... Transformator. To, is it a transformator? Yeah, transformator. Yeah, because we're Swiss and you guys over here have had different, different electricity. Voltage. Yeah. Cable for tea, really easy. We had to tape them because <laughs> we, um, we turned them on a couple of times accidentally and we're like why does it smell so weird <laughs> it smelled really weird in here and we're like oh boy do not light a single cigarette right now please so we had to like tape them off these are like the the tm tm stuff like i don't know keys and stuff and normally the all of that the paper stuff is in yeah. there too but he he's using it right now so yeah that's our fridge we are very thankful to have one a lot of fruits uh, juice, a little bit of salad, bananas, and uh, some all other healthy stuff, if you know what I mean. <laughs> um, yeah, obviously some sauces, little Red Bull, uh, coffee, pickles, everything to make your sandwich uh, way better. <laughs> and there's also a how does it a freezer? Freezer, yeah, yeah freezer. Empty. but it's empty. No, we don't use it. Not so. really. Like there, there's also like. Like jackets, obviously, shampoos, cups, and just a lot of food like bread, um, not so healthy stuff. It's like medicine and yeah, toothpaste, stuff like that. Um, more stuff like that, like yeah, mouthwash, wet wipes um, for our back pains. We have to take care a lot, and yeah, more food, more food snacks chips that's or is it drummers yeah it's, it's custom yeah. stuff just close in there custom stuff too 
Ron, our merch guy, he's the only one who loves to live out of his suitcase. I don't yeah, know. It's why. just his thing. So that's Ron's suitcase. But also this one is also Ron. Like he has. Uh, so he's stuff. the only one who has, uh, who's allowed to use his suitcase on tour. Yeah. All and of he's the, the only <laughs> one who's allowed to have his suitcase here. <laughs> So. Yeah, all of the other boys, we left all of our empty suitcases in uh, a storage box by the beginning of the tour, just yeah. to save more space, space yeah. whatever. You, you tell them about the, the beautiful yeah, that's the, things I spent. Where our drummer and our bassist, Tommy and Kosti, sleeps. I think it's pretty comfortable as well, and they have a TV as well, but I don't know if they used it. And this is like the most <laughs> <laughs> messy thing in the bus. But just that's their space, they can do whatever they want. As long it. as we don't have to see it, yeah, like I said, it, we, are, we are a little bit too much when it comes to it. <laughs> but let's be honest, we're six boys in a small RV. Yeah. If there if there's a t-shirt, there's a sock, there's a shoe, it, it looks so messy within that fast. Yeah. But we all agree that the coolest thing of this RV is actually the new Jurassic World blanket and it, it looks so cool. Yeah. Doesn't it? Gives you sweet dreams. Also dinosaurs down here because dinosaurs are just cool. Yeah, we love dinosaurs. Yes. So that's a uh, the little bathroom. We use this toilet actually because we have to pee every two seconds basically. So we, we use it. I'm the one who needs to empty the whole thing, but it's easy. There's actually a small story. I will tell you that because it's so much fun. It was full, like full of, of piss obviously. And we were like, we, we, we pulled up in the morning on a gas station, like on a parking lot. And both of us, we were like, let's check out real quick how to empty the, the, whole, the whole thing. So I went on the other side of the bus and like, is it this button? Oh, and everything came out. Every like the whole the whole toilet empties like on that parking lot and everything was full of piss. I mean I don't know how much it fits, but it was a lot. It really was. And our uh, FOH Osanka he cannot smell stuff like that. And we were standing a little bit like this, like tilted a little bit. So the whole piss went underneath the RV and came out on this side where the door is. And he was like, just woke up, wanted to like grab something to eat. He opened the door and he was like, what's, and started to gag. <laughs> it, it, was, it was hilarious, it was so much fun. We left our asses off and yeah, since then I have to empty it all the time. That's the, the piss bottle, we'll flush it, clean stuff, uh, broom or something, yeah. In here we just have our, I have no idea how they are called in English though, toiletries. And the death bag. Everyone knows what a death bag is. I guess it's the, the used clothes bag and it smells like death, so it's called death bag. Towels. In here is actually, let me open that up. In here is the, the mattress he sleeps on, like we store it uh, like in here, and also the death bags, which is not so cool, but he don't care, so. And it is also the space where we like dry all of our stage clothes and like the, the washed clothes or whatever, like we just, put them somewhere and let them dry in here and yeah that's it for the bathroom I think yeah once again we are pale for Swiss thanks so much for tuning in you guys can find us in the Swiss Alps <laughs> you guys can find us anywhere in the internet is it TikTok Instagram like we mostly use Instagram because yeah it's Instagram nice. and TikTok I think also Spotify because yeah, because we <laughs> put out a new song at the beginning of this month it's called best before death Check it out. We are also on Apple Music, uh, Deezer, All wherever stream. you want to stream your your favorite music. Yeah. Uh, and yeah, I think we will be back soon. Definitely. Yeah, we'll be in the States soon again because we like it out here. You guys seem to like us too, so why not? But at this point, once again, thank you so much for the constant support and for welcoming us in this beautiful country. And yeah, see you next time. Bye-bye.